the good will of him that dwell in the bush be with you. This is the promise. This is where he got his promise. He was in the burning bush when God said, I'm going to send you and, and you're going to be a deliverer of Israel out of bondage. God spoke to him there. And folks, to his dying day, he's finally saying to Israel, he said, I want God to bless you with a promise that will keep you like I was kept. Every time I had a problem, every time there were doubts and fears, he took me back to the burning bush. He took me back to the promise. You'll know it because God will keep by His Spirit knocking on the door, reminding you of what He said. Tell me God made you a promise your family, your son, your daughter, your husband, wife, your mother, father going to be saved? Well, I'll tell you, if God gave you that word, He'll never let it go by. He will bring it back no matter how dark it gets, no matter how hard they may get. The promise will keep coming and coming and coming at you. Just before the fulfillment of the promise, there'll come the darkest hour of all. The worst storm will break on you just prior to the coming of the promise. But there is something happens the moment we read that a Pharaoh arose who didn't know Joseph. At the same time, these amazing words are spoken in which time Moses was born. Here are the children of Israel in, before their burning ovens. And here's a man before the burning bush. How can they know when they've given up all hope of deliverance that right now God's working on this man. God's training a deliverer. And at the exact time, the exact day, the exact hour, God is going to answer and bring forth the promise. And it came to pass at the end of 430 years, even the selfsame day, it came to pass that all the host of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. If Moses had come one week earlier, they would not have all wanted to leave because God had to make them so miserable they'd run out of the land. He had to send a man to make it miserable. He had to wean them away from Egypt. And what's happening right now before God fulfills the promise, he has to wean us from all confidence in the flesh, all confidence in everything else until finally we say, Oh God, you are my only hope. Sink or swim, live or die. I believe your word.